Hello everyone, here with another look at Star Wars review, and this one is on the Desert Skiff Escape, which was just released. So, start with the box here, see, Lego, Star Wars, the Rogue One uh, Death Trooper, here, and all the minifigs, Joking Hazard, uh, Age Limit 7412, set number 75174, 277 pieces, Disney, Disney logo on the back. All the features it does, and after the force thing, and yeah. Now onto the booklet. Same picture as on the front of the box and everything. There's what to do with all the pieces, and then on the back, went on the online survey. The pieces that are included in the set. Add for Force Builder app and all the construction sets, which I previously reviewed. Then all the minifig current minifigures and all the sets that there are that have been released. And the last building stops. So for the minifigure. First off is the skiff guard. Has looks uh, just a sec. Okay, so here's the skiff guard, and some quite nice torso printing and all right face printing, and also large staff or axe thing, and. So it's back printing with matches with the back head printing. And there's a lot of ponytail and whatnot. And yeah, it's all right, mini thing. And then next up is the Chewbacca one. Kind of the same as from little older sets, but, oh, but without the blasters and now the handcuffs and whatnot. And yeah. The next one is. The other Han Solo, but with the newer hairpiece, which as I hear is in the new Death Star set and whatnot. Also the handcuffs and so not only back printing, but it, but also a double sided face. And lastly, for the main things is Boba Fett. And same amount of printing as the one in the uh, uh, newer Slave 1 set. And same helmet and everything. And also different gun piece. And angry clone face. And shoulder holder. And also backpack piece. And yeah. So. First up for the builds is the uh, pit creature. See, the builds pretty well done. As have all these tan pieces all around and some like spiky things to be like extra teeth. And so the tentacles, which were of course tail pieces and other lines, and also an all right technique build to it with these cockpit pieces acting as the jaws and. Lift this and they open and close like so, and it works pretty well. And yes, and quite large enough to fit a mini fig in. And but they do move a bit, and yeah. But although these gray pieces kind of stick out from it, I think should have been tan. Just a little lazy on that part, and yeah. And some good slope or angle pieces put this in good use, and yeah. And lastly is Desert Skiff itself. And this looks just about like the one in the film. But except unlike the previous ones, or one of the previous ones, 
which have these uh, clear pieces to make it look like it's quite really hovering. And then the front part of it, which has some of these angling pieces, has good snap techniques and wanted the and the look of it to be more streamlined and also the like bar pieces around. Also like that, yeah. And also further ahead is some alright oh, railing. And also this like middle thing that people can stand on and also it's a little holder for little pistols. Also, yeah. And the back of it continues that uh, streamlinedness, but this like little base plate kind of sticks out. But I think they could use a more smaller kind. And also these wing things, which are built pretty well, but I think they might be kind of small. They're just kind of small. In. And also. You have some good symmetricality, which I will fix up now. Good, some good symmetricality, you know, minus the plank. And also this computer screen where the guard minifig can stand in front of and pilot it and whatnot. And on this side, but on the other side is, of course, the important plank. The important plank for everyone to walk on into, and you can push it out or pull out like so. And works pretty well. Uh, yeah. So now, let me get everything together and we want a final verdict. So overall verdict, I think this is a, a pretty good version of the Desert Skiff. And if you like missed out on one of the previous Desert Skiffs, then here's your opportunity to get your own. And if you and piece count it, like price per piece, Kind of works out pretty well, and yeah. And if you and this a Target exclusive, and if you find this in your local Target, then go out and get it. Then that is it with this video, and see you on the next video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And thanks for watching.